Hey everyone, so this is just a quick video that Zen Armor, previously known as Sunny Valley Networks, asked me to put together to share what has been happening behind the curtain at the company. Suppose you've been following some of the recent OpenSense firewall announcements. In that case, you may have seen a honorable mention of Zen Armor, OpenSense and Clara and their collaboration efforts that have brought a considerable amount of improvements to the FreeBSD kernel, notably the emulated netmap mode and device driver support which is beneficial to people not only using Zen Armor but also other popular IDS and IPS solutions like Suricata and Snort. More to come on that in the video. We'll also briefly discuss the company's recent name change and rebranding and how this forms part of the company's ongoing mission. So let's jump straight in. So if you haven't guessed already, this entire video is sponsored by the kind folks over at Zen Armor. If you're looking for a very capable next generation firewall solution with plenty of versatile deployment options, best in class threat intelligence, and easy to manage through Zen Console, their cloud-based dashboard, go out and check their website and previous videos that I've created showcasing this product. No matter if you're MSP or enterprise, a small business or a home user, Zen Armor can offer you almost instant security enhancements wherever you may need it, in the cloud or on-prem. So what is NetMap and why is it important to Zen Armor? Just a bit of background info about NetMap. NetMap is a framework for very fast packet IO applications that is baked into the FreeBSD kernel and is capable of handling tens of millions of packets per second, hence why it's used by solutions like Zen, Zen Armor, Suricata and Snort to inspect raw packets traversing the network, and it plays a very important role in how these products function. The problem with NetMap was that even though Zen Armor sponsored several development efforts for the NetMap project in the past, the driver development to support NetMap properly was done around a limited number of popular Ethernet adapters and drivers at the time, which meant that the majority of Ethernet adapters and their drivers were left with compatibility issues. This approach became apparent to Zen Armor and others that trying to maintain NetMap compatibility on an individual driver basis was not a sustainable long-term solution. So several ideas were thrown around amongst the Zen Armor, OpenSense and Clara Systems teams, and it was decided that the best way forward was to make use of NetMap emulated drivers that would be compatible with any Ethernet adapter driver, offering reasonable performance in comparison to native NetMap drivers. However, people were reporting packet stalls or performance issues related to the emulated driver, and this needed to be addressed. So the three teams got back together again and contributed financially to start a two-phase project to iron out the issues. Phase one of the project was to focus on improving the reliability and stability of the emulated mode for all Ethernet devices, as well as to add emulated mode support for bridge, VLAN, lag, and TUN pseudo interfaces. Phase two of the project was to focus primarily on performance enhancements to get the emulated drivers performance on par with the native NetMap drivers. Phase one revealed some functional challenges which could lead to transmission failures of packets, leaked memory, or complete stalls of the network interface when used on specific devices. I've chosen not to dive too deeply into the weeds regarding these challenges in order to keep this video a reasonable length. However, Murat, the founder and CEO of Zen Armor, has done an excellent job explaining these issues in detail in a blog post, which I will link in the description below. You will, however, be pleased to know that all these issues identified in phase one have been fixed and shipped with the release of OpenSense version 23.1.6 as well as the wider FreeBSD community. To quickly touch on phase two of the project and what the future holds, two possible avenues to improve Net NetMap's emulated mode and its performance are currently being explored that have to do with improved memory allocation 
and buffer management. Details about this can also be found in the blog post below. I've been told that Zenarmor will enable NetMap Emulated Mode as the default deployment mode in one of the up and coming Zenarmor releases, most likely version 1.15. However, there's a small possibility that it could be shipped as soon as version 1.13.2, so stay tuned for that. The final bit of Zenarmor Insider news that I want to share is the name change journey from Sunny Valley Networks to Zenarmor. Sunny Valley Networks was founded in 2017 with the mission to provide enterprise quality network security solutions to home users and small to medium sized businesses. And the product that we know today as Zenarmor was called Sensei back then. Basically, as the company grew, it became apparent that Sensei no longer fully captured the essence of the company's mission and values, and after some careful considerations, it was decided to rename and rebrand the company as Zenarmor. Some interesting facts about how the name Zenarmor was derived. Zenarmor is a combination of two words, Zen and Armor. Zen is a practice that promotes balance, focus, and calmness, while armor represents protection, strength, and resilience. These two concepts perfectly captured the essence of the product and the newly rebranded company name, and represents the values that everyone at Zen Armor strive to embody in everything that they do. Regardless of the rebranding, Zen Armor remains committed to delivering the latest innovations in network security to its customers with a particular focus on Secure Access Service Edge or perhaps better known as SASE, a cloud native approach to network security that consolidates and simplifies networking and security functions. If you are interested in how Zen Armor can be used as part of a SASE architecture, I've created some videos covering these ideas, which I will link below. So please do check those out. So that's all that I want to share with you today. If you're interested in learning more about Zen Armor, I've left some links in the description for you. Alternatively, if you're ready to jump in and try Zen Armor for yourself, go sign up for a 15 day business edition trial. The sign up link is also in the description. If you've enjoyed this content and found it helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Your support is always appreciated. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Cheers for now.